Hey guys, it's Rindy. I am here today with another brand new introduction to another Pantastic Ladies collab. This is the Gotta Pan em All Project Pan based off of Pokemon. The creator is Heather Dean and it goes from today, the 26th of February, until the 26th of December this year. So this is an exciting nerd project. So welcome aboard, nerds. Let's go. So the first prompt based off of Pokemon is Squirtle and that is something blue or cool tone. And I went with this blue Jelly Belly polish. The last time I'd marked it, it was right around here. And I think that's about where it is. I'm not sure that I've used it again. So Bulbasaur, something green or neutral. I went with a green Jelly Belly polish. This one you can see in here is kind of in that area. Something for Charmander was something orange, red, or warm toned. And I went, let me dig it out of my basket here, with the Grande Lips Lip Plumper. You can see this is where we are at from it being in the last project it was in. And I am sure I can finish this by the end of this project. For Pikachu is something yellow or yellow based. I went with the Body Splash. This is the Sheer Sense Body Splash in Pure Sunshine by Bath and Body Works. And I'm not sure how old it is, but I'm sure it's pretty old. But this smells delicious and it will be a body spray for me to work on for the next nine months or so. The next one is Team Rocket. This is a trio that is troublesome or annoying. And guys, you already know what I'm gonna put in here, right? The Pure Bronze and Brighten palette. This is a blush, a highlighter, a bronzer. But the real problem with these is how ridiculously shimmery they all are, especially the bronzer. You know, the highlight I can get with, but they are ridiculously shimmery. And I'm not sure how to work with that bronzer. So this may end up being a eyeshadow palette. Let me, I could maybe work with that blush. The highlighter I've been using, but that brown bronzer, mm -mm, guys, mm -mm. That was like an awful place to swatch that. But the bronzer, I don't know, man. So that is my troublesome duo. It's been a troublesome duo to me since I got it in the boxy chair. So moving on for Ash is something you are determined to finish. Angie, put this one in the comments. What is it? The Pretty Vulgar Gel Eyeliner. This one's been in a bunch, a bunch of product projects. I will weigh it after it is done here. You can't really see in it. I don't know why I open it every time. But hopefully, hopefully this is the project in which it is finished. For Brock, something you fell in love with. And this one is going to make my friend Jen cringe. It is the Pharmacy Extreme Curl False Lash Effect Mascara. I was given this by her because she tried it and absolutely hated it. But this one, guys, it does actually keep my lashes curled all day. So, love it. Let's get through it. For Misty is a Give Me product, something you can logically finish. <clears throat> I picked this Bella Pierre eyeliner in Ebony because I use an eyeliner to tight line my upper eye, my upper eyelid every day usually. So that one should easily be gone within the next few months. For Palette Town is something comfortable to wear. I went with the balm that I've already misplaced because I'm always using it. My favorite night balm. And this one in particular is the one for downstairs and it is right about there. I will mark it when I am done. For Gary is something you bought because it was hyped and I didn't really buy it, but I requested it. Sorry about that, guys. As a, as a sample, it is the Porefessional Primer. And so this is obviously, you know, super hyped face primer. So I requested this as a sample in a, 
Ulta probably. Ulta Sephora box. And so let's get through it, actually try it out and see how it is. So for Professor Oak, is something helpful in your routine? That is my Avon SPF lip conditioner. This is my SPF lip conditioner. It is a good lip balm and also with that SPF in there you can't uh, can't beat it so that is where it is I will mark it it's right about here on the tube and we'll work our way down with that so that it doesn't break off so for me is a legendary product and I picked this sample of the milk hydro grip primer and just another sample but it is definitely a product I heard hyped up when it first came out. So I'm going to try that out finally and see what it is about. And then Mew 2 is a dupe of a legendary product that is equally as legendary. And I went, man, I keep bumping this computer today, guys. I went with the NYX eyeliner in Esmeralda. This is supposed to dupe the Urban Decay super whatever the urban decay ridiculously long name eyeliner and this has an equally ridiculous long name this is the nyx professional makeup slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner and then underneath it says this eyeliner is so good the name had to be this long and this is really a good line eyeliner um I bought it as a dupe for the Urban Decays because I couldn't bring myself to spend $24 on an eye pencil. So I spent the six to eight on this one. And it really is just as good as the Urban Decay or as I've heard the Urban Decay is. So that is all of my items for the Gotta Pan em All project pan. I hope you'll stick around, check out my progress, check out the other fantastic ladies in this collab. And until the next time, I will talk to you all later.